Chris Kaufman, non-metro divers. I get asked all the time as a diver, is it hard to breathe with all the weight of the water pushing down on you? As I try to explain atmospheric pressure and how a regulator works, I frequently get this look that I can only describe as the deer that took out the front fender of my pickup a while back. So I rigged up a little demonstration to try and show how atmospheric pressure is controlled by your regulator for being underwater. Now atmospheric pressure, that's the pressure that we're in right now, the pressure that around us, that's our atmosphere. The definition of it is one atmosphere of pressure would be a one inch column of air from space clear down to sea level. So if I were to take a one inch column from outer space, it's pushing down on me right now with 15, about 15 pounds per square inch. That's the weight of air pushing down on us. We're not doing a decompression dive today, and my demonstration on how to launch a space shuttle isn't coming out till next week, so we're just going to ignore the 15 pounds of atmospheric pressure that all the tech divers are going to want me to add into all my figures, and we're just going to go with what the gauges say. Your cheap Walmart $5 gauge, it's going to say zero pounds per square inch. I've got one of these on a hose. It's about 45 deep in the water. 45 feet deep and on my cheap gauge it's showing about 10 pounds of pressure which is it should be more we're 45 feet deep so it should be up 15 pounds a little more uh, so that's the at the bottom if I was sitting on the bottom that's how much pressure would be pushing down on me now that would make it kind of hard to breathe because you figure every square inch here's 15 pounds there's 15 pounds there's 15 pounds pretty soon that's a lot of weight pushing down on my lungs the scuba diving regulator compensates that and let me explain how that works your scuba diving regulator has two parts the first stage and the second stage the first stage changes the air pressure from your tank from around 3,000 pounds, whatever's in your tank, down to around 130, whatever you've got it set at. This hose, is it, if I have it hooked up to a tank, is at 130 pounds. That's what's being supplied to the second stage, which goes in your mouth. The second stage drops that down to atmospheric pressure. When I breathe on this, I'm breathing air at the same pressure as whatever I'm in. If I'm underwater, it delivers the air at the pressure of the water. If I'm on my boat, it's going to deliver the air pressure at, okay, technically it's 15 pounds. So we're going to stick a regulator in the water, and I'll show you how the regulator compensates for the pressure of the water pushing down on us. So I've rigged up one of my other regulators. To make it easy, I'm using my Argonaut Kraken. It's a double hose regulator sold by an outfit in Florida called Vintage Double Hose. The two parts of the regulator and the last one I showed you are all inside this can, the first stage and the second stage, and then it just has a mouthpiece. I've taken out the mouthpiece and put in a piece of PVC pipe so I can hook a hose to it with a gauge. This would be the air pressure that's inside my lungs. This is what I'm breathing wherever I'm at. I'm going to have another hose hooked up to the airline that I showed you before that supplies the second stage. This is the 130 pounds that's being delivered to you. So I've got a bunch of hose hooked up to my regulator. One gauge shows the intermediate pressure. It's at 140-ish pounds, and I don't trust these $5 gauges from Walmart, but for now we'll just call it right. This gauge goes to the mouthpiece. That's going to show the pressure that I'm breathing. 
and it's at zero. So we've got both regulators in the water. Remember the pressure down there is, the gauge says 10. It's got to be a little over 15 pounds. That's enough to keep you from breathing. If you were to take this and put it in your mouth and try and blow on it, you wouldn't even move the needle. So remember what I said, that's 15, 30, 45, and so on. All, every square inch has got 15 pounds of pressure on it at 33 feet salt water. We're a little bit over 33 feet, so it should be more than that. The scuba diving regulator, as you go deeper, the regulator compensates by increasing the pressure you're breathing. The first stage as you go deeper is going to take this 135 pounds and raise it up the same amount as the pressure around you so that the pressure you're breathing out of the second stage is always the same pressure as the water around you. That's what keeps you from being squashed as a diver when you go down. You're constantly raising the pressure in your lungs. So let's look at the gauges and see what it did. Okay, so we've got the gauges in the water. This gauge, let's go with this one. So it went from 135 to about 155. That raised it 20 pounds per square inch. So that means if my gauge was right on the water pressure gauge, there should be 20 pounds of pressure down there. Now, remember on the surface, the mouthpiece was supplying me with air at zero on my gauge. Now that gauge says 10, which is the same as the water pressure gauge. This is the pressure at the bottom of the lake, on the bottom. Oh, looks like I'm leaking air somewhere. This one is the pressure that's going into my lungs. As long as the pressure in my lungs is the same as the pressure at the bottom of the lake, it cannot squash me. It's just like breathing on land. Now, remember, if you were to hold your breath and try and swim up, that same 10, 20 pounds of pressure is going to be pushing outward on your lungs instead of inward. That causes all kinds of bad things. So as I, if I were to lift this up, raise everything up, that pressure would drop as I raise to the surface. That's why it's so important to always breathe when you're diving and figure out where all your leaks are at. So we're probably about halfway up. My intermediate pressure has dropped to about 145 and the pressure in my lungs, uh, it's dropped down to where the gauge can't even read it. So there you have it. That's how we can breathe 50, 100, 200, 300 feet underwater. Scuba diving explained.